Today I'm gonna be talking about the new um some Samsung my bad Samsung Infuse 4.1.2 Jelly Bean update that these developers have released I believe on the October the 15th. All right, so I'm just gonna give a quick demonstration. This is a uh, for y'all to a better view of how to get the ROM rather than reading everything and being all confused. All right, so let's get started. Um, first of all, you should you need to be rooted and have Clockwork Mod. I don't have any videos on how to do that. I'm sorry, but I'm sure there are plenty of videos out there that will teach you how to do that. All right. Okay, so let's get started and. It would probably be best to remove your SD card. Right here. That way you don't lose any important information that you have on there. And then um Alright, so let me get started already. So let's copy the file. You gotta download um right here it says unofficial right there. Unofficial uh clockwork mod or whatever, a CM ten um butter unofficial one. You gotta click it. And downloaded it. All right. Uh, since I already have it downloaded to my desktop, it should be right here. It's right there. CM, CM10, whatever it's called. Doesn't really matter to me. All right. So make sure you don't unzip the file. Get your phone. All right. And then, um, uh, but you, you do have to go from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean. Uh, that's just a reminder, and it has to be from the same the same version as this one which is which I have made a video of alright and the link to the uh, the link will be in the description for how to get that file alright so connect your USB cable to your to your phone alright let's get it connected okay alright open to view files let's just go back where is that oh sorry about that all right, so let's get. Let me let me do this again. All right, so you should go to your start button. Go to computer. All right, get this file. Drag it directly into your internal SD card. All right, just wait for it to download. Come on, speed it up, speed it up. All right, and then we will go into recovery mode, which first you gotta power your phone off. Um, hold the the two volume buttons up and down, and the power button at the same time. All right. So let's 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 get to doing that. Exit this. All right. Let's. Oh, sorry about that. Turn it off. Get rid of this cable. You don't need the computer anymore. All right. So let me get this all set up. All right. So just power it off. By now, you should already have the reboot, but I'm just going to do it the long way. Power it off. Oh, sorry about that. I want to do this as quick as possible. Alright, so, alright, so you hold the volume up, volume down, and then the power button at the same time, all at the same time. As soon as the logo button comes up, let go of the power and then let go of the volume. Alright? So first of all we're gonna wipe data the whatever it's called. You should have this clockwork mod by now. The CM based recovery six point whatever it's called. Alright, go to wipe data. Use the volume rockers to to scroll up and down. Alright, let me just zoom out a little bit. Alright, and then wipe cache partition. Right here. All right. You could just follow my steps. You don't even have to really listen to me. You could just watch the video. All right, and then you'd probably have to go to Advance and wipe the Alvic cache. All right, that was quick. All right, so now we're gonna install from SD card. Choose zip. And we're gonna choose CM Infantanium Unofficial. Alright, click install. Alright, that should be. 
we should wait till it stops downloading all right and that sh that should be it that should be it we just gotta go into reboot mode hold on wait till it restarts and come on baby come on installing update as you can see it's installing the update all right yeah, we actually skipped a step because there was an actual Jelly Bean 4.1.1. But it's better if you upgrade to the 4.1.2, obviously. Alright, and as as I remind you on the ice cream sandwich, this, this is only better because uh, the voice command or whatever, uh, Google Now works. And on the other one, it does not. It does not work, actually. I don't, I don't even think it has a Google Now, alright? So... But um, the ice cream sandwich is probably a better version to use because of the fact that it doesn't seem to crash as much as... I haven't tried this version yet completely, but as much as the the 4.1.1, alright? And I'm sorry it's taking long, so I'll be right back as soon as it's finished downloading. Alright, so I'm back, and all we gotta do now is hit reboot system now with the power button. And... That should be it right there. Alright, hold on a second, wait for it to reboot. Let it load, let it load. Bam. Alright, this might take a while, so, so sorry about that. I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so I'm back with the um unofficial jelly bean update. And as you can see right away, it's <laughs> this is a better unlock screen. It doesn't have the Google the Google version the Google thing right here where you can quickly go up and search does have the camera and the unlock button all right as you can see this also this is the this was the problem about this update it doesn't have the Google now or anything but compared to the other versions of a uh, uh, jelly bean this is uh, indeed the very the very fastest like no lie all right so let's let's test it out like uh, as soon as you as soon as you launch it of course it's gonna go a little slow let it load all right so as you can see uh, Look, you can see the butter project butter as you slowly turn the pages in the background you can start seeing it's very fluid see this is much quicker than um, the other version of jelly bean which has the voice commands and all that but it's not as quick as this you can just simply kick call and it goes quickly go home contacts quick messages quick internet this this actually the internet is very quick compared to um, older versions of just any type of Samsung update um, any type of software let's just go to images let's quickly go to images let's just search up let's search up let's search up football game let's see how fast it is look at that incredibly fast right now it's actually going a little slow compared to uh, I'm guessing it's because the battery it's low yeah maybe because of that but a while ago it was going extremely fast alright and you can just click the home button now this 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 update actually comes with the with um let me click another app uh, calculator with the recents where you ki where you kill your tasks through here which I really like this better than any other version of Samsung softwares. So you just simply swipe. You can bring it back if you if you just regret it. But simply just swipe left and right. As you can see, it's really, 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 really quick. Let's see status bar quick. See, bam, kill it, come back. All right. So let's talk about the status bar. As you can see right away. Clock. The date. Everything. All right, the the time and everything's actually wrong because I haven't set it up. Here's his Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, GPS, and the sound. I believe you can turns vibrate. It has a whole a whole bunch of different type of sounds that you can choose, and you can quickly go to your settings by that. Look how fast that is. This is a very quick version of 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 um, Jelly Bean. I extremely like this version. I used to have another version of Jelly Bean which had voice commands and everything. That was very very like it was it was amazing to have that, but it was so slow sometimes. You just click the internet 
and it'll be like frozen for a little bit and then it'll just pop up out of nowhere which is in my opinion not a good not a good way to um go stick with that all right so these were just a very few quick features you can simply edit everything in your system you can in your launcher you could be like uh your drawer you want to join apps show whatever it has so many ways to edit it home screen home screens screen uh search bar all that you could change all these you could change so many things all right but this was just a quick video on how to get it and um how well this this um this update works it doesn't actually go where you swipe and it starts all over it just ends at the very end all right so that's it for today i was just trying to help y'all get a a newer version of of any type of software all right so i'm out hope y'all like the update all right sorry i'm back a quick demonstration on the camera i didn't mean to do that here you go all right so you click the camera now a panorama you don't have to stick to that old boring um all right let me just try it out i'm gonna start from here let me go all right let's see if it works out sorry about that i'm losing y'all on the screen but it's all right it's just a quick demonstration all right so let's see how it looks come on man save oh it's saving sorry about that all right so yeah the panorama is actually bet it's well i can't say it's better but i really like it on here better than the other uh the other jelly bean version all right let's go see the picture here it goes all right as you can see it took the complete side of of this little area where i'm working at and actually the camera or oh, uh the other feature i think was you just zoom out you can easily delete pictures by swiping up oh, there you go see this is very 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 good um features that we'd really use especially if you have a lot of pictures that you would like to get rid of but not specific ones all right so that should be it all right and y'all have a good day